and welcome back to my channel. I know you are wondering why are we looking at all of these appliances? Well, I had to clean my appliances. I think that sometimes appliances don't get the love that they need. And so I decided to take all of my appliances out and give them a good clean. And since I was doing that, I figured you might want to just kind of maybe know what different appliances I have. Or maybe you might see one that you don't have or learn something about one that you don't have. Or, you know, just to see. Okay. So we're going to start on this side. I'm going to make this quick. Okay. This is my favorite. One of my favorite. <clears throat> this is the Heat Wave by Aroma. And it is old. I've had it forever, but it definitely gets the job done. So it roasts. It's like a little, it's like an oven. This is an oven. This is a, a on the top of your cabinet oven. I mean, like, like oven, like stuff you bake cakes in. This is pretty much like an oven. Okay. So next we've got the shell baker here. I love this thing. I usually make, um, so excuse my, my refrigerator's making all that noise. Excuse it. I usually make, um, we call that cornbread in here. Should have cleaned that part a little better. But cornbread cups for my chilies. So I make chili. I'll make the cornbread, the cornbread cups in here. Shell bake. Okay. Next, we've got a little crock pot. This is a baby crock pot. Isn't that the cutest? This is a little crock pot. I'm gonna be stingy and just cook for me days, which is very rare around here. But nonetheless, there it is. Next, we've got the cake pop machine. This is my kid's favorite. All right, cake pop machine here. I should still wipe that out a little bit there. Um, they love that one. They're gonna be doing some tomorrow, so I'll probably leave that out. So next up, we've got a waffle maker. That's still wet, so I wiped it out. Got a waffle maker. Gotta wipe that out a little bit better. And next to that, we have another waffle maker, but this one is for ice cream cones. Okay. It's the waffle maker. I've actually never used this. I've never used it. But I will. I will. Okay. Next, we've got our lemon, orange, or I might as well say fruit zest um, juicer. Okay. It's electric. It's great. It works great. Next up, we've got the Mickey Mouse waffle maker. So here's the Mickey waffle maker. The girls love that. Next up, we have the Wolfgang Puck pie maker, like puck pie maker. It comes with this little brim, this little brim cookie cutter, but I have tons of cookie cutters. So you put the little pie, um, the the raw pie thing in there. It's not raw, it's pie crust. What do you call it? Call it raw, I guess so. The raw pie crust, then your fillings, and then another piece over the top. And you close it down, it makes little pot pies. So, so much can be done with that. Desserts, dinners, lunches, all that good stuff. Next we have our Tayama rice cooker, okay? And did I tell you what brand this was? Fruit juice by Deze. Okay. So we have our rice cooker here. Just a basic rice cooker. I like rice cookers, but sometimes I don't because if you're trying to do a last minute meal and the rice cooker takes more than 30 minutes to cook the rice, to me, that's just too long. Okay. Next. Now, let's talk about food processors. Okay. I've got several. Um, the main one that I bought that I really, really wanted was this KitchenAid. Let me turn it around. This is the main um, one I wanted. This was the KitchenAid um, Architect. Architect, is that what that says? I can't see it. I need my glasses. Anyhow, this KitchenAid is the one that I bought when I lived in 29 Palms. I got it for a Mother's Day gift, I think. And I loved it. But it broke, a piece broke several years ago maybe about three or four, and I haven't used it since, so I really need to order the other piece. Here is the box with all the attachments right here. Um, this one, this is the one that broke. 
but with it, it broke another piece. So I gotta figure out what two pieces are broke so that I can order the rest. See that other part is broke too. So I gotta get that fixed because it's actually a pretty good machine, okay? So that's that. The KitchenAid Art Architect, I think that's what this is. Architect, Architect? Anyhow, so that's that. The next one is the Rachel Ray. The next one is the Rachel Ray. This one works pretty well. It's kind of slanted, as you can see. It's kind of like a slanted deal there. So that's that. The next thing we have is our meat cutter. You know, you want to slice some meat all up, right? Hands, all that type of stuff, turkey, that type of stuff. That's what that's for. Okay. Next thing we have is our Kenmore Elite um, induction cooker. So this is great. Um, because when you don't want to dirty up your stove or oven, you can take this induction cooking and cooker, induction cooker. You can take the little oven I said over there, the heat wave, uh, a pressure cooker or a rice cooker. And you can use those three to make your meal instead, right? So that's that. I love that. So next we have our fryer. It's my oyster. We've used it. Usually we only use it to really fry like catfish or something like that. Okay, next up, Hamilton Beach crock pot. Yeah, Hamilton Beach crock pot. This one gets the job done. Yeah, it has a little thermometer thing put down in this little hole here, probes down in there, make sure the temperature is good. Next up, we have our Instant Pot pressure cooker. Okay, one of my favorites. Gotta love it. We use this quite a bit. We're gonna be using this a lot in the fall time, so that's great. Happy fall, almost happy fall, y'all. Not yet, almost. Okay, next we have our bread man. And this is a bread maker. Now, I say these, well, there's a couple more I have, but these two are near and dear to my heart because these are two of the first appliance that I bought as an adult. Um, or should I say a young adult? Because I don't know if I was quite 18 yet. I probably was almost 18, maybe a month for being 18 when I brought this bread man bread maker. And then again, um, this was my first like big purchase that I paid over $60 for. See the novice mason, but I don't care. I'm never going to get rid of it. It still works just fine. Um, it works beautifully. But the knob is missing. So if I can find another mob, I'll, I'll glue it on. This one's by Black & Decker. It also is a crock pot. And I just really fell in love with this. I remember I bought this in JCPenney for JCPenney or Macy's, one of the two, for like months. And then finally saving up and being able to get it. So that was a big deal for me back then. Okay. Next, we have our uh, griddle here. Old school, just a plug-in griddle. It's old. It is clean. It looks like it's not, but it is. It's just old. So I'm going to probably be looking to get a new one. Okay. And then we have our um, our air fryer here. It needs to be cleaned up, actually. My husband just used it. It's still hot. But we have our air fryer. And that works great. We love it. And my kitchen aid. And we have our Vitamix. Okay. We've got our Vitamix right here. And I think that is the last thing. Golly, I better double check. Oh, nope. <laughs> this is crazy. As you know, we have our Keurig machine. We have three of them, actually. There's two more of, well, there's one in the guest room and then there's one upstairs in the library. So we have that. And we have a popcorn machine, a big, like, movie theater popcorn machine. But I'll show that in a different video. I just wanted to show you guys this stuff because this is what I was cleaning it. You know, I brought, broke out the comet and was kind of scrubbing some of the little stains and stuff on there just to kind of, you know, revamp, renew, re repurpose, recycle, reuse. You know how I say, keep it all together. Keep, you know, take good care of your things. Do the best you can. There's been times where I feel I haven't done my job with taking care of my stuff like I should. And so I'm trying to do better, you know, I'm trying to improve upon myself and taking care of my stuff better. So. So that's it. It's the same day as um, me doing the 
what do you call this? The bakery section. That's why I'm looking crazy, but it's like close to 10 o'clock. So um, this video will probably go up on Friday because I got to edit it. Or it might go up, it might go up sooner because it was a quick video, so it won't take that long. But I just wanted to share all that stuff with you so you can see electronical stuff I have for the kitchen. Um, and there's a few more I'm sure that I missed. Oh, I also have the Scylla meal, but that's to help preserve the meals, not necessarily to cook them. I was trying to show you the stuff that I needed for like meal prep or indoor cooking the stuff. Okay. And I do have some other unique things that's not necessarily for cooking but still cool okay like i have this pasta roller let me show you this pasta roller where you can roll out your pasta yeah i got two of them that one's for the flat this one is for like noodles to like making like noodles so cool stuff cool stuff that is my kitchen utensils kitchen electronics okay so i hope you've enjoyed this video i know it was a quick video but sometimes those are even better because you can hear it from watching and then move on with your day and um i love them all i'm about to put them all back away and um in another couple of months i'll take them out and clean them all again thank you for joining me remember to love you love god love life and i'll see you next time bye guys